Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Super Sonic G. Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI, because of Lisa Age, or PlayStation 4. The game just lagged real big right there. <laughs> okay, so um, last time we made our way over to the Viking hideout, and we uh, learned more about Eric's past and everything, and we met his sister, who turned out to be evil at the time, but uh, yeah, we basically defeated her and everything, and uh, we set like the gold curse thing free from everybody here and uh yeah now continue on and we're gonna be heading up to arborea this in this episode so we're gonna go and get started we make sure to hit that like button is it really helps out a lot and comment subscribe my channel and check out g2.com get crazy and digi price link in the description curious what this says since the golden glacier by the way slowly but surely the heart was on that light which means we have better get back to work yeah that's right dude i bet you wanted villagers vikings turned up in town not long ago Oh, I do not worry. He was a man, not a monster. Go to their hideout and you'll see if they are chained back to the way they were. Oh, okay, but I'm not going to go there because I got to go to Arborea here. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how long this episode will be. As I was going to say, Golden Boulder has been blocking the path in this snarfell and the uh, Arborean Highlands has disappeared. You wish to uh, head to Arborea? Follow the path? Okay. Thanks, you. I appreciate it. All right, but, um, yeah, we're finally going to go back to, going to go to Ar Arborea. And reunite with my girl Serena. Oh, and Veronica too. <laughs> okay, sorry, but yeah, we'll reunite with them both. Hi, Cal. Out of pure curiosity, I just want to talk to Cal. Hi, Cal. Well, it's the kind of weather we have. Looking forward to move. If it's like clear skies all around throughout tomorrow. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Cal. I always just like talking to the cow. It's just a fun thing to do. It's not like anything too special. It's just something, you know, you're just something cool. Some little fun thing you can do there. All right, now before I do end up going to Arboria, I want to do one thing right over here. Well, I want to go this way too. There's actually going to be a couple things before I actually go to Arboria. First off, we want to go over here. Just real fast, go over here. I'm going to go to um, where that Snowy guy lives. Yeah, Snowy, it's only whatever his name was, I don't remember. Like he was the Queen's uh, advisor or whatever and everything. Yeah, we need to go to his place. I think that's his place. Kind of is his place. I mean, he was staying there, so we're gonna assume that's his place. So whatever. Yeah, we're gonna go over to his place. When was the library that close? Huh? Yeah, we're gonna try to come on up here, and there's a side quest we can get. I might as well just like activate it, just so I have another side quest on the bo board here and everything. How's it going? So I'll wander around the soldier of Simulheim. I came here with my younger brother to. And eradicate the killing machines that have been okay. <laughs> That's nice. I thought it was already updated, but well, <laughs> I played in the snark out late. late. Uh, all was proceeding as planned until that blood red robot appeared. Terrifying type go. Far more powerful than its cousin is with its murder on its metallic mind. The battle of the beast left strength that long last week prevailed by each uh, great cost of early did not survive his injuries. I dreamt myself the cabin had been resting here ever since. Well, I still so don't have that strength to sustain, stand, whatever. Since our parents passed away, and brother was the only family I had. That's why we would always be together. I would never forgive that, that type go for taking him from me. I'll not rest until the type go. Erdria is reduced to a smoking pile of cogs and sprockets. I'll make them taste, taste your pain, fight for justice. Yeah, I'll do it for you, dude. Who else? I'm work. Yeah. You will thank you. The type goes are the commanders of the robot army. They only ever appear alongside their killing machine subordinates. They appear on uh, front lines only rarely, but if you keep fighting their foot soldiers, when a sure follow its being space. All right. All right, so we just gotta go around and uh, fight some robots. A dish special cold quest. All right, so that's just another side quest I'll activate there. Um, I don't know if I'll do that one on screen or something. Probably not. I don't see any robots over there, so let's head on back now. There's another sled there. What's with all the random sleds everywhere, dude? Just like a random sled right there. There's nobody around it or anything. It's just so bizarre. <laughs> not really bizarre, I'd say it's just random. Like, okay, I'm just gonna leave our sled out here in the coal and everything, just because why not? All right, um, where are we? Okay, we gotta go to the right. What is that? Okay, that's not right. Can't go that way yet. All right, yeah, we're pretty powerful with these guys too, so it's not a big deal. Oh, it's robots. All right, let's fight the robots. All right, we're Mr. Robots. Your enemies appears. You guys won't be that tough. We're OP. 
Yeah, one shot KO, nice. Oh crap, I never rested at a, at a campfire or anything. You like this one? I should have said, oh darling. Oh darling! Yeah, I really should rest about a campfire or something. Wow. So for here, go. Crap, dude. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot to like turn them back on. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, I beat the boss by uh, turning them off and letting them fight their own style. And, yeah, I need to turn them back on here as soon as I can. All right, there we go. Tactics. Follow orders. Follow orders. Follow orders. All right. Let's attack them normal now. There we go. Not bad at all, guys. XP wasn't bad either. Right, I'm just gonna do that real fast. All right, you next. I need to find your, your leader and everything. Take him down. Um, uh, I'm not do that much. Let's do it. Gates. Not bad. Take him down. Nice. I did it. Who else wants? All right. I defeated those two, and uh, nobody appeared. That's fine. Oh, there's a campfire right here. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and say you two. All right, we're back again here, and uh, yeah, I just fought some more robots there and everything. I still cannot get their leader to come out and everything. And uh, yeah, they got this area down here we can go to. Look at this big hole here, dude. What's going to happen here? I don't know. I think we we'll go fight these guys too. Might as well, right? All right, fight him too. All right, there he is! We found him, guys. We found him. We found him. Tycho, let's go. You like this? Oh, dying! Hey, not bad. Tycho, just keep going for him. You're the guy who killed my friend there. No, I didn't mean to use on him. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. Rob might have to heal us here, dude, actually. Let's do it. That guy's not gonna run away, is he? Yeah, I get it. He doesn't need three turns there to explain that. Alright, take this! Ho ho, crit! Did I say the killing machine? That's his name, the killing machine? Killing machine! You're still standing, dude? Good god, he's not in the yellow yet. This guy must have a strong defense. He's still standing. <laughs> Darling! Alright, pearly gates. Come on! Kill him! No! Ow. All right, they're both dead. Yay, we did it! We did it! Oh my god, dude, that battle was so just He's a type code sprocket. Yay! Yeah, I'm going to go and take back this one soldier. Nice! We did it, guys. We beat him. Oh my god, that was just so annoying, dude. Can you get up there, police lightning? Ah, that's his name. That's what I need. Him. All right, Spirit Lightning, we're just gonna go on without ya. I'm gonna go back and save. All right, so we're back now, and these guys really respawn like that, dude. Come on. Come on, Lightning, get out there. Get out there. There you go. There you go. Can I go down this hole, too? Because remember, there used to be something hiding in this hole before. I don't think I can. I think I... I think I... I don't think I can, yeah. He might actually be the, the boss. It's like, yeah, there was something frozen in here, like some giant dragon snake thing. I don't know. I was just there before, and I, 
what's happening. Oh, I supposed to be cutscene or something. Well, I'm glad we. Yeah, if you're all wondering, I will. I will go back to that side quest here in the future. Something is not right here. Be on your guard. <gasps> yeah. Behind me. Knew it. It is him. That's a guy from before. Hi there. You better not be that tough. Since time beyond memory, I have been sealed away in that frozen fjord. But now I am released. Oh, bro, this is an annoying voice. My lengthy imprisonment has slowly depleted my powers. If the skies above Sniffleheim are to once more dance with fire, then first I must feast. You shall have the honor of being the auroral Sarpanch Saba. Shut up. Man, that's annoying. Sa, sa, enough of the S's. They're all surfing jaws in here. Let's do this, guys. Let's finish him, even though we just found him. Let's finish him already. All right. I don't know how much he'll do here with damage-wise, but hopefully not too much. I'm glad I actually went all the way back and, uh, you know, I'm... Uh, what is it? Uh, rest of the campfire again there. All right. Darling, show him how it's done. Stun him. Dang it. It's only got like a 25% chance, pretty much. It's stunning. Ew. Okay, at least two people are standing. Oh, crap. I don't like that. Take this! Alright, come on, Sylvano. Stun him! <laughs> yeah, I always use that attack. It's because it's his best attack, really. Throws him a shot. That's his, uh... Oh! Alright, thank you for missing. Alright, same thing, Eric. Alright, you might as well heal up. Just to be safe. Alright, got some more again here. <laughs> Hopefully, Rab gets up. Yes, he got up. Let's heal, let's heal everybody up here real fast. Not bad. They're all fully healed. Jeez. I hate that attack. Oh my god. Not much damage. Yikes. Alright, take this. Go again. Stun him. You gotta stun him once at least. Come on. There you go. So, Vando, that's my boy. Alright, I should go and, uh, heal Eric here. Needs to be safe here. We can tank him with a hit. Alright. Let's do this. Cutting edge. Take this! Can't move. Thank you. Alright, he's already in yellow. Gonna say anything. <laughs> Alright, take down, take him down, darling. Alright, I'm just gonna multi heal again here just to be safe. Just to be safe. And he's probably gonna come back though. Okay, I get another round here. Or another uh, shot here. He's gonna come back at this. Usually he just goes one round when they're stunned like that. Ah! Oh crap. Yeah. Worst two people, too. Oh, I mean, nobody's bad on this team, really, right now. Alright. Yeah, I don't think you like that one, unfortunately. And take this! Oof. 
Dude, that attack does a, does a number on us, dude. Alright. Here, Eric. Take it. They should be snapped out of it after this turn here. Hey, Savannah, can you stun him again, please? Darling! Darling! I gotta say, Sylvano's voice actor is perfect for him. Oh, God. You... <laughs> That's what happens to feathers. Here, bunch of feathers protect me. No, never mind. I take everything back, I said. Why is Sylvano going again? I don't know. Just uh, do it again. He's in the red now, at least. Alright. Come on, Eric. Come on. Still stunned. I'm not done yet. Do it again. Yeah. All right, we're good. We can tank some more hits. Kazam! Uh oh, I don't like that. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? Ah, we only have Sylvando right now. Oh. Josh, Subject, you should turn back to normal here soon, but knowing my luck, he actually did. Wow, I'm shocked. I was expecting him to stay like that for a while. Ah, I better heal just in case. That move sucks, dude. And it, of course it has to be grab too. That is not no normal attack there, just saying. Just saying there, dude. Alright, you gotta get one stun in here again here, dude. Come on. One more stun. How about it? Alright, same thing again here. I don't know. If Rav or Eric would snap out of it, I'd be very appreciated. I'll try to go again, dude. Thank you. Good God, dude. Alright, once again here. Go again. Can't move still. Come on, dude. Take this! Yeah, he's done. We did it. We beat him. He honestly wasn't on top of just kind of annoying with the thing there. Hey, Rab leveled up to level 53. Nice. I don't think anybody else is going to level up, though. Nobody else's him was kind of close at all. You are strong. Just like the detest of a luminary. The one who sealed me away. All oh, those years ago. <laughs> where Adwin succeeded, you shall succumb. In your dreams, dude. <laughs> what the... You can't move. Pitious wretches, prepare to be consumed. Oh, God. What the? Serena? <laughs> No, my strength, it's straining away, what is that awful noise? That's beautiful, dude, not awful. Yeah, it's Serena. She's no longer in her outfit. No. Oh, that's her normal clothes. Thou black offense, may heaven's winds propel thee hence. There we go. There's her lines. Good riddance. Don't worry, everyone. I'll have you back on your feet in no time. Why? It's not a mystery who it is. I don't know why you don't just show her face. Who? No way! Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have I waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. 
While we live, none shall defeat you. It's ever so nice to see you all again. Serena, it's really you. Thanks for helping us out there. Where did you spring from, and where have you been? Yeah, really. I've been trying to make my way back to Arborea ever since that awful day. But I got rather sidetracked seeing to those who needed my help. When I heard that the golden iceberg blocking Sniffelheim Harbor had melted away, I decided to try and make my way home from there. I never thought I'd meet you on the way. You're heading to Arborea, eh? We're on our way there ourselves. Reckon you keepers would be the best folk to ask about a certain sacred flying contraption. A flying contraption? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but I'm sure Father Benedictus will know something about it. It's so wonderful to see you all again. Would you mind awfully if I tagged along with you? She's not gonna question why Hendrix in the group. <laughs> Serena joins, rejoins the party. Sorry. Yay! My girl's back, dude! Let's go. Now I gotta get you to, to level up. Because I want you back in the party. the path up the mountain, we'll be in Arborea in no time. Well then, shall we? Let's shall. Oh yeah, we do need to grind her up, dude. Like, she is far behind everybody. Wait, what level is she? Alright, it's a uh, line up here. 43! She's 11 behind the main character and like 10 behind Sylvando and Rab. Oh my god. We're gonna have to grind her like crazy because I want her back in the party here. But she's gonna be so much weaker. Alright, we're gonna have to do a lot of grinding with her, dude. I'll probably do it off screen here. But my god, what happened to Arborea here? Look at this, look at this idiot right here. Alright, um, oh, I mean, I might as well get him, right? I'm about to be level 55, so... Alright, I can just ride the horse still. You know what, let's get back on the horse. CHARGE! I always got his robot friend here this time, huh? Huh, buddy? Oh, we already are fully over here. I guess Serena did heal us. Character's pep, let's go. Uh... Get him. Get the lizard guy. Come on. Take him out! Yeah, I figured it wasn't gonna actually take him out. But that was a heck of a pet power. It's a nice thing about Eric is his pet power is so good. Alright. Yeah, I want to put Serena in the group again, but she's just not strong enough right now, dude. She's not in a very good position for that at all. Alright, lead to lizard. Darling! Right, I always just say that whenever I play Sylvando. Can we just, uh, normal attack in here and it'll be done? Yeah, we can! I didn't really want to use that magic points there, so it's fine. Out of pure curiosity, how far behind is Serena? Ooh, not even close, dude. We're gonna have to find another one just so we can level up more. Let's try this again here. Reach Lizard, go for the topper guy first. That's a heck of an attack, dude. Good god, that's powerful. Let me let's go. On Sylvano, give me your power. I'm on fire! And I wish he would say that. That's like one of my favorite lines of his. Like he just breathing fire on your sword and everything. He just shouts, I'm on fire! Uh Alright, and Rab finished him off with the pearly gates. Heck of an attack. I love that attack so much, dude. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. That was a very late attack, dude. Why? <laughs> I was like, what was that? Let's do normal attacks for now on. Alright. Is that gonna level us up? I don't know. Hey, 55. Nice. Uh, Eric is not leveled up. What the heck? Ah, oh, he's close. He's close. 
get in here, please? No? Okay, whatever. Alright, sorry, Lightning, we're gonna have to leave you down here now. Alright, let's... I tried to pan the camera at the last second here, see what else was over there, but it failed. Go for bird brain first. Ow. Let's go! Nah, I'm gonna pass on that, actually. Let's use pearly gates for now. Rats and powers are alright, but they're nothing too special, really. Cross fang, let's go. Take this! Booyah! Those guys are pretty weak, so they probably won't give much XP for that. Oh, Eric, hold on, nice. 52, nice, Eric, nice. Alright, do we really have to go all the way back out there? Is that really the way to Arborea? Like, what kind of passageway is that here, Arboreans? Arboreans, is that like the correct term for them or something? I don't know. Arboreans? Arboreas? I don't know. Okay, well, yeah, we're doing this again here. Uh, it's been a while. Oh, God, I remember this guy. He's that statue enemy, that's right. Yeah, I'm not falling for that a second time there, dude. I didn't think you were enemies the first time, but the second time, you nearly got me there. Alright. Let's grab that real fast. I do like controlling these monster things, though. They're pretty fun to control. Which I do enjoy. I'm glad they're fun to control. Alright, what's up here? I already get it? Oh yeah, it's just the, the chest of that mini metal. I think that was what's in there. Alright, let's go around them for now. No, dude, I'm not gonna fight you right now. Hey, God, they're everywhere this time. Like, they weren't here before. But now they are. And now they're back. They're back for revenge. To destroy us once and for all here. We need to get a move on here before they get us. But yeah, I'm wondering where Veronica is right now. <laughs> She's probably just yelling at somebody like crazy. <laughs> probably. That's just what I imagine her to do. I think we're here. Right? Arborea. Ooh, destroyed, pretty much. This I love that outfit on Jade. Awful. It was so beautiful here before. Our poor little angels. Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. Fidelis, Alma, you must not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can... Oh. Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! Oh, Serena, my little angel. I never thought I'd see you again. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What of Veronica? She, she's I don't know. Here. But I thought she must have made her way home already. What you doing there? She's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. Somewhere north of here. Oh, over there. I was gonna say, you, you think she's in that tree? Where she is. Hmm. Yes, it's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. Yeah, and then we need to grind her up too. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, we gotta go find Wonder World Chief. Uh, I feared that we could never see you or your friends again. Now you return to us. All of us save save one. Pray go and Serena, the crew of North of Village, to seek her twin. Yeah, I'll do it, dude. No problem. I'll go. <laughs> that was a pretty risky jump there, dude. How you doing, dude? I'm Louie. What brings you to this quiet corner of Aurora? There's a knot beyond this point. Save a small and secluded hopes. This place a little significance to anyone except perhaps Veronica Serena. Have been played there as children. Oh, that's nice. Didn't you say you played with them too over here? I guess. I guess he did at one point, but who cares anymore? <laughs> All right. Um. Let's go. Oh, no music. 
we're here. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if it came to your report. You think Veronica's really here? If she is, she's keeping a low profile. True. When we were children, Veronica and I would often come to this grove to play. I was sure she would be waiting for me here. Hmm. Veronica! Veronica, where are you? Oh. <gasps> ah, there she is. I knew it. <laughs> well, what's up with her? <laughs> Wake up, lazy bones. You'll catch cold sleeping outside like this. You mean you'll catch a cold? Just saying, that's what it should be like. Uh-oh. Veronica? <sighs> Look, her staff is shining, and so is the mark on your hand. Do you think if you touch it, you might have one of your visions? Probably. I didn't get a yes or no option there. <laughs> Sometimes I'm very curious what the no option says. <laughs> I wonder what to actually say. Transport back to the dark day. To that dark day, sorry. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, oh no! This can't be happening! If it just so falls, the world will... She say there? I couldn't hear. Her lips move like she said something, but oh man. Ooh. Rest in peace. And why is her soul right there then? Hmm. Veronica, you gave your life to save us. No! <sighs> oh, man. Oh, darling. Even in your final moments, you were thinking of your friends. No! everyone. I have to tell mother and father. I understand. No. 
Oh man, dude. Just like that. I was expecting to reunite with her and everything, but... Dude. Let's see what the other people say. And the PO real. Is Ronnie really gone? Ronnie, really? I can't stand this place bringing back too many bad memories. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, I agree with you, dude. Hold up, is there anything back here? I'm just checking. I didn't think there would be really anything back here, but you never know. Yeah, it's like a broken down tree, but that's it. There's really nothing back here at all besides that cutscene, so let's get out of here. Oh, wow, dude. Just like that, she's gone. And he never even found out until now. So he tells me over Warrior yeah, the sad news of Ronka's sacrifice. Same day the keepers hold that memorable service. Memorial. Yeah. Oh great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is this symbol of all life. Today, we mourn the loss of a beloved child of Arborea. Though she came into life with another of your hallowed leaves, she departed this realm alone. May she one day return to you and bloom again upon your branches. gathering here today to celebrate the life of my dear sister. Even in her darkest hour, Veronica thought not of herself, but only of protecting the luminary. She was a keeper to the last. Now, I ask that each of you offer up a lock of hair to the sacred flame, that its light may guide her on her way back to the world tree. Give up your hair, all a piece of it. <laughs> I don't really know why hair would do the trick, but it's their religion. Oh, oh Veronica, my little angel. <laughs> Curse you, Mordigan. Why could you not have taken me instead? My darling, darling daughter. How could you leave us without saying goodbye? Serena appears steadfast despite her grief, but the sight of her poor parents is heartbreaking indeed. My child, I must speak with you and your friends. When you have a moment, please come to the cathedral. Okay. Okay, and Brock is in a loading screen, wow. Wow, dude. So, wow. Aww. Father Brennan says he got something important to discuss with you. Did he not? He's waiting for you in the cathedral. Wow, you got a happy face there for a funeral happening. Go to him, I prithy the cathedrals are building top. He says, I know where I'm going here, lady. Aww, puppy. Aww. Maybe he's crying. Is Veronica dead? Does that mean she isn't going to come back again? That's right, kid. He's gone. Talk to your parents. Oh, Veronica, my little angel, never my darkest night was I imagined such a day would come, ever come. It's all my fault. I should never allow my dear darling daughters to go off on such a dangerous journey. Please forgive me, fool of father. Oh, dude, it's all right. It's my fault. My poor daughter, how terrible it must have been for your fate. Only your staff to return to us. Only you two have been inherited the soul of the holy sage. Would you have been ordinary little girls that we would we lived in peace? Oh, all these poor people here, dude. It's, just, it's so sad. Maybe you lost your life in day after the fall. Maybe I was convinced that Veronica would have escaped unscathed. Oh, Veronica, I miss you so much. I was looking forward to hearing all about your travels. Oh. Everybody just so heartbroken, dude. It's just saddening. I sad made for her, especially as this parting gift. I had hoped that it would aid her on a journey, but would I know where that journey would lead? Yeah, but then again, I kept switching it out as a thing. Can I save with you? All right, so we could save with that guy, thankfully. So now we got, was the church here? Is that one? Is that, I, I forget where it actually is now. 
I said I knew where I was earlier, but now I just don't remember, actually. Oh, well, there's nobody in here. I figured there would be nobody in there. The church is a big building over here, right? Oh, God, the stairs. Take a shortcut here. It's building here, right? Right? I think? Yeah, that's it. Forgive me for summoning you here at this time of sadness, but there is something I believe you will be eager to hear. You came in search of the sacred conveyance upon which Erdwin and his allies rode out to face the Dark One, did you not? Yeah. How did you know that? For some days before your arrival, Holy Yggdrasil granted me another vision. I saw you on a luminary. You were standing alongside Serena upon a great white object that transported you to an island in the sky. A strange and beautiful place. And you think this was a vision of the future? I do. For in my dream, Veronica was not with you. I have been greatly troubled as to what her absence might mean. I had hoped and prayed that my fears were unfounded, yet, alas, they were not. Which made me wonder if the conveyance upon which you stood might also be real. And then, I remembered. He did? Cetacea. The legends tell of a divine being who soared through the skies on silver wings, a beast summoned to Erdwin's side by a mystical melody. Perhaps it was upon Cetacea's back that you rode in my vision. And perhaps the island upon which you alighted is the next step on your journey. I intend to scour the annals for indications of how she might be summoned. I will inform you forthwith if my researches should prove fruitful. Now, the day's unhappy events have surely taken their toll. Rooms have been prepared for you all at the inn. Pray, rest a while. Well, thanks, dude. Ah, oh, man. It's like, it took a huge turn here. We're like happy getting everybody together and everything. Rising up for level what? 50s now, except for Serena. And we're like gonna be taking down Mordigan like he's an absolute joke. And Veronica lost her life, dude. It just it really is sad, dude. It, like, I just feel bad. I really do. Like, she didn't deserve that. She really didn't. She deserves so much more than that. Like, she's a, a fantastic character. And just to see her go like that, it's just heartbreaking. There's no way to bank either. Why are you here? Alright, so yeah, we need to stay the night here. So, very well, you follow me. Set me free. Trust me, and we'll escape from Arboria. <laughs> I'm just joking. Sorry. Huh? Hey, that night, Josh, I'll be here. Some mourn mournful tones of a heart dipping on the air. I wonder what that is. Hey, keep it down. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I'll just be in the end. Or if I can control where I go. Are they? Where are they? Guys? Why am I alone? I mean... Okay, I'm alone for some reason. I don't know where my friends went. How you doing? Ever since she was a child, Serena has always been somewhat lacking in drive. Veronica led the way. Serena would blindly fall. If he was Veronica alone, it's just they would seek out the Luminator. She was convinced their parents to let them leave. Serena does not have the courage to challenge the Lord's shadows. Ever the Luminary do not lead her in any more danger. Her place now is not with you, but with her parents. Not only for the peace of my mouth, for hers too. Hey, it's what she wants to do. I have no control. It's not my job here. She wasn't even there yet. I walked up there just thinking she was out there because she's got to be close, right? So, yeah. Oh, she's probably hiding too. Promise, promise on my love that will wail in uh, the bows that will leaves my bloom together. I'm probably gonna mess this up. Who time hath torn thee from my arms and with that thwart us countless harms, time shall make us one forever. I'm not singing that. <laughs> I'm not singing that in Serena's love voice. Song from the Age of Heroes. The story of a lady pining for her long lost sweetheart. 
No one remembers who wrote it, but I've loved it since I was a little girl. You know, something's been bothering me. What is that? Oh, I know already. Veronica? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I remember this cutscene. It feels like it's been forever I since I did that. I hope they do. <laughs> <sighs> Serena, I want you to promise me something. If anything happens to me, promise you'll finish this without me. <gasps> Foreshadowing. I shan't promise anything of the sort. I don't even want to think of such things. Okay, first of all, if you're camping, why is the ground... Like carpet in that and everything. What kind of tent is that? Also, where's your blankets? Like, just saying. <laughs> if only I had promised to do as she asked. Perhaps she might have been able to make her sacrifice more easily. She was right, you know? I always have been slow. When it came to talking, or walking, or learning magic. I was always a step behind her. But now I must tread my own path. Alone. Hey, you're not alone. I'm here I for you. to ask, but would you mind awfully not going anywhere for a little while? I think I'm going to cry. Thank you. I'm sorry to be such a bother, but I shan't be one any longer. Why you shan't? To save me. I must make the most of my life, for her sake. That's right. Yeah, keep going. Hmm. <sighs> what you doing there? <sighs> oh, she cut her hair. I guess I get I get it why she did because she's you know sacrificing a thing of no, hair for the tree. That was the old me. Goodbye. Hmm. She doesn't look as hot without the long hair. <laughs> okay, stop. What in the world? I feel different. Hmm. <gasps> oh, you have Veronica's powers. Nice. Now use all Veronica's spells and abilities. Oh, nice! So now I definitely could use her in the party there. I'm glad you're good, girl. All right, so Veronica, excuse me so much. I'm not going to be afraid anymore. Oh, please don't let me keep you. I think I'll stay here for a while and listen to Breeze. She go back to the in rest. Okay, you say so. What are you doing up? Go to sleep. <laughs> At least it stopped raining. If this guy is crying for us, he needs to cheer up a little now. What do you? What do we? You say we head back to the end. It's almost time to try to go to sleep. Okay. I don't know why you're outside in the first place, but you do you. You do you, girl. Do I have to talk to the dude? I'm just going to check. Bye. Dude, 
like I should be able to just sleep in the bed, right? I think I gotta go talk to the dude. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but he's not gonna charge me again, is he? Alright, I'll be turning to your room. Yeah. Morning, nobody. <laughs> Just saying, there's nobody in this room. Why? I don't know. I guess they don't want to share a room with me. Hey, what are you doing here? You're waiting for me, huh? Good morning, or should I say, good afternoon? The sun's already high in the sky. Afternoon, man. What am I doing? What am I gonna do? Just dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead. But I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. Okay. Just me and you then. Just me and my girl. I'm back with my girl here. Yay! Speak I can have my girl. I I wanna see what she says in party right. talk. Paul Ben Benedictus uh popped up at an interview this morning said he had something important to talk. Right, so just the same thing he just said there. All right, nothing too special there. Let's go, Serena. Run! Wait, Serena, wait! I saw something down there. All right, no, I didn't. Yeah, I'll go back and save, too. All right, back at it now. Um, I thought I saw a side quest, like, old bubble up there, but I guess I was wrong. Wait, is it that one over there? It's probably that one over there, actually. Why is the guy block looking like he might be blocking out the path there? I don't care. I don't want to talk to you, dude. I right, said, so go inside now and see the others. Is this really yet? After you, Serena. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll go for you. <laughs> and now that Serena is by our side again here, we should be good. Luminary's landing. Well, I don't think there's going to be any enemies up ahead here anyway. It just doesn't seem like it. It's a pretty weird area here. Are you just... Is this called Luminary's Landing? Why, did I just land here one day or something? Wait, 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 wait. It could be something over here. Nope, there's nothing over here. I was hoping there would be, but whatever. Hey guys, I'm back. We're back, sorry. Ah, there you are. So glad you could finally join us. Yggdrasil blessed me with another vision in the night. I saw Veronica standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Erdwin descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. And this is the Calamus Flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit. The day after the Dark One finally fell. I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was upon my pillow. That is it is suspicious. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child. If you would be so kind. Of course. How'd she know it's on to play? <laughs> hmm. I think I must be doing it wrong. But if Veronica was playing it in Father Benedictus's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? Oh, it didn't give me an option. I was waiting for that option. <laughs> Some options I am very tempted to say no, just out of pure curiosity. It's glowing. Come on. Okay, a fishing pole. I'm gonna catch something big here, guys. <laughs> what the? A fishing rod? I fear it is I who am seeing visions. <gasps> you got a bite! Oh, go on, darling, reel it in. 
heavier than you think. Whoa, that's a big one. I hope you got a fishing net. <laughs> Flying whale with bird wings? A flying fish? No, that's a whale! So it was as I suspected. It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. The sacred conveyance of the luminary. Cetacea. Cetacea, huh? Uh oh. How? It seems Sorry. that she heeds the call of the flute. You must play it whenever you require her aid. Requires a calamitous flute. Okay. Go, Luminary, and seek out the floating island. It is the world tree's will. Whatever awaits you there will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica sacrifice. Be in vain. Now, play. Okay. I can't hear anything besides that normal background music. Huh? I oh, know we're fading away. <laughs> now, just random light beam just got us. You know, typical. <laughs> Guy is huge. If it is a guy, I don't know. Whoa. Alright, um, that was an interesting cutscene to say the least. Wasn't expecting a flying whale, but I should Shouldn't really expect anything else. A warrior for receiving the flute left behind the gate of Veronica. Oh, the loveliest catch. Nice. Okay, so where am I going? I have no idea. What? I don't want to go there yet. Are you kidding me? I have no idea what any of this is. Oh, sure, why not? I don't want to take on Mordigan yet. I still gotta do more grinding, you know? Gotta do more grinding! <laughs> gotta make sure you're 100% prepared for no matter what happens! Alright, go off to some whale way station. I gotta keep this in mind just because so I can come back here in the future. I just wanted to come here so I could enlarge this on my map again here. Because I like this town a lot. This town is very nice. I might as well go and go to town and see if anything has changed at all. I feel like there's some more hidden secrets around here with the. What the, what the, what the, something is gonna happen here. You know something is gonna happen here. Where the heck am I? What's up with the sky, too? Good God. I think it's just becoming nighttime. That's probably why. And these uh, chess guys again here. I thought you guys plenty of times before. Alright, so grab this. Grab this. Grab this. Where do I go? Is it just a bonus path? Oh, I've seen it so much. Okay. There's... I don't see another path here. Yeah, okay, right here. It has a castle and everything. So let's go. Let's go! Land here. Doesn't even say the name of the place. Just land here! Land ho! I don't know. In the world. So there really is an island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here, too. I hope. <laughs> Up there. Is that a temple of some sort? Probably next dungeon. <laughs> well, there must be some reason we were brought here. Shall we go and find out what it is? Okay. 
Let's just check here around here real fast. I don't think, yeah, question. Yeah, question everything there is that thing under, I don't know, that makes sense. All right, let's go. Question mark, I have no idea what this place is either, game. We're gonna find out. Ooh, should we go in the big obvious door? Should we go this way? Should we go this way? Go around the entire island, see if there's any goodies or something here. Any shinies. Give me some shinies, game. Give me some shinies. And I see no shinies. Okay then, I see nothing shiny or anything like that. I guess there's nothing around here. I just did a huge loop and there's nothing there. Alright, whatever. Can't go over there, so. Through the doors we go. Through the double doors! Away! Sorry, I just had to make that reference. <laughs> We can see you, you know. Come out from behind there. Yeah, whoever you are. Oh. Who? What is it? Ah, it's you! Yeah! The Watchers? And what are they? Of course. Ground dwellers, not snow. Not snow of us. We watch over Erdria. Watch for as long as Erdria exists. Well, what do you know? And what are you doing skulking behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher? This is home. Home of all of us. Once were many islands. Many watchers. But attack came. Lord of Shadows. All crashed. Only this island remains. Only me! Aww. That's awful. Mortigan got to you guys too, huh? Sounds like you've been through a lot. Sorry if I was out of line just now. How come you survived anyway? And why did this place get left alone? Guiding light burns within. Has burned since time began. Was in Temple of Dawn. This guiding light of yours sounds pretty special. Oh, we're here looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the guiding light might be it? Hmm. Not known. Is not weapon. Cannot defeat. Perhaps. Wish to have. Perhaps. But I'm only a child. Know little of world yet. Guess we'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Yeah. Yes. But what are we going to do about our poor little friend here? Not worry. I'm fine. I'm Watcher. Story of Watcher's not over. You beat Lord of Shadows. Then World Tree returns. Cycle restored. Life and rebirth. Dead ones get new life. My brothers. My sisters. All begins again. Please, Luminary, succeed. I hope. Wait. You know who he is? Mm. Wow. That's strange, but okay. Being here, that there's some beginning my view of watchers watching protecting flames. He flame and time will learn more, learn the power of banish darkness, perhaps. Okay. No save point. That sucks. I guess we'll go in now. Okay, this place. Good god, dude, this is huge. Not really huge, I should say. It's just bizarre looking. Can I touch that? I, I can't. Can I touch this thing here? Oh, I can. What does it do? I think I'm supposed to do that. I think! Oh, it's beautiful. And so holy. I feel you're just looking at it. Me too. <laughs> Wait, the mark.
Oh, wow. Whoa! Did all that light just get squished down into that little thing? I guess. Requires a gilding light. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look! Three flower things are doing something. I sense something very special in them. I know this feeling. Yggdrasil, I think you should take a closer look, don't you? I have a feeling they have something rather important to show us. I guess so. And they're glowing and all, so I guess I'll go left to right, I guess. Touch it, why not? What's happening? This is gonna be one of those visions again. Yep. That's the place we're at earlier. We had to retreat from. <laughs> the ex luminary, huh? Maybe they all show me that. I don't know. You all saw that too, right? Yes. That man. The mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... <gasps> uh, yeah, I think uh, so. I do. And I have a feeling you have the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Edwin, the luminary of legend. I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. So those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat him, right? Ah, yes. you're not wrong. Let's see what those other seedlings have to show us, shall we? Let's shall. Okay, I'll go this one next. Touch the seedling, let's do it. I'll save the middle one for last this time, actually. So that's where we go. That's another place where we're just about to go to. I got it blocked off past did I can continue. The size of that hammer. Was it just me or did it seem special somehow? It was no weapon. So. That much is certain. A forging hammer, if I am not mistaken. But what were they forging? I know. Wonder. Well, I think we all know where they were, at least, don't we? Yeah, I guess so. Let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer. Let's do it. Touch it. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's see what kind of power this one holds. Okay now, huh? Must be a future area we go to. I wonder if it matters what orders you look at them. That view, I'm sure of it. So if I understand what we saw correctly, they found some ore and a hammer, then went up a mountain and forged a sword. <gasps> Wait, of course. The sword of light. Indeed. They would not have gone into battle with the Dark One unarmed. Yes, that's the power we need. That's how we'll drive the darkness from the world. But Mordigan took it, right? Unless... Are these visions trying to say we need to... Yeah, that must be it. We need to make our own Sword of Light, just like the old heroes did. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, we've got ourselves a plan. Not 
much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. Let's start by paying a visit to the places we saw in those visions. I'm betting we'll find some more clues there. It looked like they found that ore on another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need to have a word with our wee pal about that. And that was Galopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. <gasps> oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? How could I forget? Yeah, that's right. Uh, sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis, and uh, wherever that other island happens to be. Yeah, we already it went to remember. We're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. You'll be with us in spirit. I know it. All right, let's go to work. Yeah. Let's get to work. All right. But, uh, yeah, let's get on out of here now. We're about to end it off, don't worry. Oh, well, this guy's gonna tell us some more stuff, unfortunately. Never mind. You find preliminary thing you seek? You could say that. Explains everything you had in this companion saw. Hmm. Always intriguing. Remember a tale from my grandfather. Guiding light helped ancient heroes. Battleground? Why would anyone go looking for ore on a battleground? Mine was there. Mine of great ores. Great powers fought for ores. Great battle occurred. Great losses. Great pain. Victors took all. No ore. No more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> centuries ago. Perhaps tale false. Perhaps all remain. Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, it can't hurt to go on a look now, can it? Come on, you lot. We already went there, remember? Don't you remember anything? Come on. If you forget purpose, if you need clues, come to me. Tales from Grandfather may help. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. There are some places that you can now lead soon to travel to Hotel Galapagos. Yay, Galapagos! Should we go to Galapagos first? I said we go to Galapagos first. It's been a while since I've actually been there. Alright, let's just go to Galapagos and we'll end it off. Um, where is Galapagos again? That's oh, right here. Let's go! Let's zoom on over to Galapagos here. It's been a while since I've been there. It really has been quite a while. It's been a while since I've been to Hoto, too. I'd rather go to Galapagos first. No, we weren't there first. We were at Hoto first, and then we went to Galapagos right after that. Because we met Ho Veronica and Serena in Hoto. And we went to Galapagos right after that. And then we met Silvano in Galapagos. I guess we're starting with Galapagos since they're already warping there. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. Oh, that's what that was. And they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? I wouldn't want to be in that town, dude. Oh, it's one of those guys. That's a darker one. Erdwin's Lantern, eh? Back you don't in see that. So we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. Favorite stories. 
And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows' rise caused Erwin's lantern to descend... Look at that thing. Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. No. <laughs> well, everything you needed to hear, did you? All right then. I wonder why I haven't I said yes. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? Yeah. Are there people in town? I don't think. Ah, oh, there are. I'm a little shocked. Legend of Glaphos saw that Erwin's lantern was placed in the sky to watch over Edria. If you're to decide the sinister star already standing upon it, says, cause made the doubt those items hard to believe such an ominous presence. Alright. Of course, I pretend. Yeah, blah, 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 dude. Over here is where the church was, so let's see if we can go over here and probably save. Alright, guys, we're going to end things off there for now, so thanks for watching. I'd be to hit that like button and comment, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye, guys.